Quality is an attitude. Hi, my name is Obad Khan and I'm from Oman Delivery and Services team. Today, in this short video, we will show you how to do EHS task submission in ISDP. EHS or Environment, Health and Safety is one of the three red lines in Huawei. Huawei has zero tolerance for breaking EHS rules deliberately and treats each case very seriously. Huawei Oman invests a lot of time, energy and money in training EHS culture to its direct employees as well as the subcontractor employees. Huawei has set up a whole mechanism and procedure to follow EHS regulations at site and this video covers some of the EHS aspects followed on daily basis. Within EHS domain, Huawei Oman top priority is working at height and safe driving. For work at height operations, before we start any work, we need to make sure that the worker who will work at height have proper training and certification for the job. Also, all non-related people should be kept away from the site at all times. The rigger should be connected to the tower with double lanyard at all times to avoid any fall or injury. Before starting the work, the team lead needs to perform EHS task in ISDP application. Basic requirements for all sites includes first aid kit, fire extinguisher, Android phone, warning tape, safety passport and EHS work permit card, EHS site checklist and the required certifications. Using ISDP, below steps are done for EHS task submission. First of all, open ISDP app in the Android phone. Enter your user ID and password to log in to the ISDP app. The team lead is normally responsible for completing the EHS tasks. Then select the project code from top of the main screen. From the main screen, enter the QA QC option. Within the QC task, enter the site ID in the search bar and search the site. Once you have the required site ID, click the site ID. This will open the task list, which needs to be performed as part of the EHS check. The EHS tasks are divided into five main domains. This includes, number one, checking the vehicle. Number two, checking and verifying the EHS tools. Number three, checking the environment. Number four, checking and verifying the PPE for all the site workers. And last, number five, monitoring the operation. We will now go through each EHS domain one by one in detail. So, first of all, we will check the vehicle and take the pictures of the vehicle. This will include driver license and safety passport, OBD or GPS verification, car maintenance records, EHS driving absolute rule stickers which is posted in the vehicle, front and back row seat belts, last EHS checklist. Now we will check the second domain which is related to tools. In this domain we will check and take pictures of the first aid kit, fire extinguisher, drinking water and the tool kit. The third domain we will check the environment.
This includes checking the following. The site type, the warning tape, and the wind speed. Fourth domain to check is the Personal Protective Equipment or also called PPE. In this domain, we will verify the group photo, Huawei working IDs and certifications, rigorous PPE front and back check, and last, the EHS self checklist. The last and the fifth domain is operation monitoring. This includes checking the following. Monitoring climbing tower and pre-climbing activity of the rigger. Monitoring rigger operation on the tower. And last is the monitoring climbing down activity of the rigger from the tower. Once the team lead takes all the required photographs and upload it in the ISDP system, he waits for the Huawei control room representative to approve the rigging activities. Once he approves, the rigger can now climb the tower and start the job. In case the control room rejects any pictures, the team lead will have to redo the task and again submit for the control room approval. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.